So I'm back, guys, uh, to talk more about uh, some of the things that Shalev said to kind of echo some things. Everybody has a certain level of responsibility for things that, that happen. Um, and it seems a little twisted. Um, and I'm not saying that individual people, when they're hurt, or groups, when they're hurt, that the people in that room or the people that aren't victimized, they themselves might be innocent on many levels. Um, but as, uh, as Shalev said, uh, there are times that groups do not endear themselves to one another. And I know that in the religious world, uh, even for myself, when I find a synagogue or a place or a family or people that I'm really comfortable with, it's always exciting for me and it's always like a little bit of a relief because, you know, many of us, myself included, have had those experiences where you go into a synagogue and no one talks to you uh, and they don't say hi to you. They don't make eye contact, uh, you know, and you might go there for a long time and, and you never really have Kesher with anyone. You never really have a connection. And it's sad. Um, it's really sad. Sometimes it's just because it takes a long time for people to, you know, warm up, if you will, or decide that they're going to talk to you. Um, there are other times where you go in and, you know, you might say, I know someone said to me one time, I was walking to a shul. Uh, well, no, I was uh, walking from the parking lot and, you know, the guy says to me, hey, who are you? And I, I told him and he says, why are you here? And I said, I've come to pray. And he says, who do you know? And I said, well, this guy, and I gave the name, and I said, I'm, I'm in town just overnight. And I asked the man where the minion was, and he told me. And the guy said, okay. And then he walked ahead of me. You know, he didn't, like, open the door for me. I mean, may, maybe I'm remembering this wrong, but, he, you know, he was just, maybe he was in a hurry, you know. And then, you know, I got into the davening and a davened, and, you know, but really very few people until the end uh, spoke to me. However, in that same uh, time, there was a very kind man in front of me who spoke to me and said, wow, you know, it's good to have you. And we even talked about Breslov a little bit. It was not a Breslov minion, but we talked about Breslov. We talked about Rabbi Nachman. And... Uh, it was great. You know, he's a great guy. And he said, if you're ever in town again, you know, please let me know and, and you can come stay with me for Shabbat. And it's beautiful. Um, the other issue can be that um, the halakha or maybe the way halakha is interpreted makes it hard to be for people to to be nice. In other words, uh, I've heard people say, you know, it's not sneeu to smile. It's not modest to smile. So can you imagine, you know, that I'm not supposed to smile at someone, especially I can't smile at a woman, right? I mean, I can't smile at someone who's not uh, my family. Um, and, you know, this is this is a little bit crazy. I mean, I understand within reason we, we need to have boundaries. We need to protect our marriages. And, and, you know, we need to fight for those things that are important. At the same time, as Shalev said, if we can't just go and be nice and be kind and, 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 and you know, people are going to criticize us from inside, they're going to use the halakha to criticize us and say, oh, hey, yeah, you can't do that. That's why are you talking to that person? Why are you being nice? That person's not Jewish or that's a woman or whatever, you know, like, really? Why? That, and you wonder why people are angry with us. Or why I'm angry. You know, I don't want to be angry because I can't say hi to someone. So I'm, I'm going to say hi to people. 
It's easy for me too. For some people it's not as easy. But it's easy for me. I I try my best to to be good and do good and be nice to people because the alternative stinks, guys, and I used to not be a nice person. Uh, maybe you don't believe that, and it's great if you don't believe it, but I used to not be a nice person, uh, especially to myself and my family. But sometimes I wasn't nice to other people, and definitely people of other backgrounds. Um, it was very hard for me, if you can imagine. It's not that I didn't have friends. It's not that people didn't like me. But there was there was a part of me that was not um, kind at all. And I could be very unkind to people and very intolerant of, of other points of view. And I will explain more about that in a moment. Thank you, guys. You're so patient.